Yes, hi, my name is Mike Whitehill. I'm director of Churchill Theater's production of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Opens here at Churchill uh, on September 9th. This is a, this coming Friday and uh, will run through the 25th of September. Uh, shows are on the weekends, uh, Fridays and Saturday nights at 8 p.m. and uh, 2 p.m. on Sundays for the Sunday matinee. Uh, we thought we'd like to give you a little tour of the stage because the staging of this show is particularly intense uh, to match the themes of the play and also to give a uh, uh, give the audience a sense of uh, of the confinement uh, and the despair that can go on in an insane asylum uh, and the relief and happiness one can have by being on the other side of the wire. We want to uh, walk a bit here and I'll show you some of the features of the set that, uh, that bring that out. As you can see, uh, very unusual to have an actual fourth wall uh, in a theater production. This fourth wall is a wire cage. What I noticed uh, when I uh, designed the set and worked through the details with set uh, my scenerist, uh, Brian Draper, was that when you're on the stage approaching the audience, you really feel the confinement of the, of the wire. You really feel the impact of being caged and unable to get away. Uh, and then on the other hand, when you're sitting in the audience watching the action in the play, you're going to have the distinct sense that you're at a zoo watching lions, uh, for example. Not that you uh, want to be in the cage with the lions, uh, but you certainly want to be able to see them uh, or not see them at your discretion. Uh, there is an impenetrable fourth wall uh, in all of our lives, a, a place we bump up against where we feel we can't go beyond. And this is often, uh, you know, kind of defined as our personal space. Perhaps sometimes it's defined uh, by other people's vision of what it should be. Uh, and if I can't get out here to talk to you, and you can't come in here to be with me, uh, mostly because I'm insane, uh, then our communication is null and void, and it's vo avoided by a simple wall, um, which uh, you'll watch this play through. Uh, one of the features of the set is what is known uh, as chaos cloth. This is this white fabric, uh, which is a completely random uh, uh, pattern uh, that has been uh, designed to give a sense of uh, confusion and uh, lack of orientation. Uh, so when you look through a square grid, as you have at the fourth wall, onto the back of the stage in the cyclorama, which is black uh, and a heavier weave of chaos cloth against the lighter weave in the, uh, uh, on the sides of the, uh, of the stage. You get a sense of order and then the loss of order. And then as you focus back into your, into your space in your seat, uh, you'll have order again. We also tried to create a uh, what looks like a bunker in the nurses' station, a very unusual configuration that was designed to make the the nurses on the day room ward floor in the uh, have the uh, the sense of of uh, not only a artificial protection through the steel and the riveting on the walls, but also of the elevated height. It is the height that gives them a, a supremacy where they may not be tall as individuals. They certainly are an authority. Uh, what we're trying to show in, in by all of the staging you see here is not that the play is about sex or gender or race, because all of those are represented here on stage. It's about power. It is about the power that is, that is held, power that is seated away, uh, power that is picked up by someone else, uh, and power ultimately that is taken back. of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Opens on September 9th and runs through September 25th uh, with shows uh, on uh, Friday and Saturday nights at 8 p.m. and on Sunday at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, you can reserve tickets online at churchilltheater.org uh, or you may uh, call the uh, administration office at 410-556-6003 and make a reservation through our administrative staff.